Hello and welcome to the ICA community. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can request access to a workers' compensation claim and ALJ file as a new portal user. From the main page of the ICA community, you have the ability here on the left to request access if you do not already have a login. You have the ability, without even a login, to be able to submit some web forms. If you follow these links, it will open up a web form and allow you to enter in the information and select submit. If the form requires a signature, it will send a signature email or to your email account so that you can sign it. And then the document is submitted straight into the ICA. If you already have a login to the portal, then you would go ahead and select the login button in the top right corner. In order to request access to the portal as a new user, you will need two pieces of information. One is a claim number that you're an interested party for, and the other is a document that will allow the ICA to confirm your identity. So that might be a driver's license, a passport, a military ID. We can we kind of go through those. Um, I will show you that in this demonstration. If you don't have a claim number, you can go ahead and call the Phoenix Customer Service Area, and the information for the Phoenix and Tucson office is on the Contact Us page. You would want to follow this phone number for the customer service. So let's go ahead and request access to a claim. So I'm going to go and enter in my claim number. And then you can select your party type. Who are you? <laughs> what interested party? Are you a claimant, employer, attorney, carrier, TPA? I'm going to go ahead and select applicant attorney. Oh, looks like I made a mistake in entering my claim. It does do a validation to make sure that you are requesting access to a valid claim in the system. Oh, yes, it looks like when I look at my records here, I have an extra two. And so now if I go ahead, it has a green check mark saying that that claim is valid. So if you select, based on the party type you selected, there'll be different fields that are requested for your profile. So again, I'm going to go ahead and do the applicant attorney. And this, the only fields that are required are the ones with asterisks. Um, but please go ahead if you would like to complete your profile, fill in all of the fields. And then fill in your email address. Your email address is very important because this is how the ICA will communicate with you that if the request is not approved, denied, or may require more information. Your email address will also act as your username. So now that I have entered all the information, I can go ahead and select submit. Here is where we're looking for you to prove your identity. So as an attorney, I have the ability to enter or to provide a driver's license, state ID, passport, military ID. If you are an employer, there may be different HR um, references that uh, you can provide as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just select upload file and navigate because I took a picture of my driver's license. So I'm going to navigate to that picture and go ahead and select open. And then I'm going to submit this to the ICA. So as an attorney, they also want you, me to submit a company letterhead or a business card. So then I can also, again, take a picture of my business card, go ahead, upload file. Um, I actually don't have a document like that, but I am just going to for this. I am not going to do that for this. The portal will guide you if there are any additional documents that are needed. So as an attorney, they are also looking for me to provide company letterhead or a business card. So I'm going to select business card, upload a file, and then go ahead and select that and hit submit. So here in the bottom left, it says thank you for registering with the ICA portal. So what happens now is the, the request is being processed. So what happens, ICA has customer service area, and they go ahead, review the information you submitted, validate that you are an interested party. If you are, they will go ahead and approve your request, and you will receive an email letting you know that that's been approved. In that email, you'll be able to select a link that will have you set up your password for the portal, where you can log in and then view the documents 
of the of the claim that you requested or the documents of the ALJ file that's associated to that claim. If there are any questions by the ICA customer service group, they can send you an email requiring additional information, or if you are not an interested party, they also may deny your request. So that is how you can request access to become a portal user and get access to a workers' compensation claim in ALJ. Talk to you soon.